Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. What's going on, you guys? Well, man, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day today. Yes, it is. The sun is shining. There's not like a cloud in the sky. Check it out. Look at that. It's looking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It looks like a really great day to get her done. So Gary actually went to Walmart and he picked us up a bunch of steaks so we can get back at this erosion control. Yep. Well, I've got uh, 400 steaks. That's a lot of steaks. <laughs> I actually picked up two more uh, rolls, so we got another 400 feet. Woohoo! As uh, I'm seeing that it takes a couple of them to uh, fill in some areas and the animal pen to the garden area is uh, probably going to take three. Yeah. So... It's a big area, and uh, it's uh, going to be a lot of steaks. I might not use all the steaks, but after we're all said and done, then we'll just go steak crazy. I'd rather have too many <laughs> than not enough, that's yes. for sure. Um, we did have a really nasty rainstorm. We got like three inches of rain out here. You can't tell now because it's already dried out. Yep. Uh, but I want to walk over here with you guys and show you all what we're looking at. So after the storm, um, we now have some pretty big little, little, some pretty big rivets going on through here. Um, like you can tell they're pretty deep. Yeah, that one's like to your ankle. Yeah, that one's pretty darn deep. I mean, that, one, that one's pretty deep. Yeah. Now here is the fabric. Yeah. She lived. Mm-hmm. It didn't blow away. No. We've definitely got our minds made up on what we want to go in here and we're going to be getting on that as soon as possible so mm -hmm. what we got to work on today and what we got to finish today is we got to finish laying the ground cloth uh, you guys saw in our last video we ran out of stakes and we got to still finish this area right over here but it's holding up man it held up through that big nasty storm I'm happy with it um, right over here we ran out of stakes so we've got to do this little portion right there fill in this gap and then go all the way back because right up here is where Gary is going to be building his garage. This is where the concrete slab is going to be getting poured. That's where that's going. So this, we definitely don't want this berm to be washing away. I mean, realistically, we don't want any of the berms to be washing away. But this one, there's going to be a building up there. So especially not that one. This berm down here is huge compared yeah. to this. Yep. So... It's, uh, it's probably going to take almost three, maybe four rolls going out. And that's why I was like, eh, I'm going to buy two more. Just yep. in case. Just in case. It wasn't too bad. It was only like 24 bucks a roll. Yeah. That's, that's four feet by 200, so it's not too bad. Nah. Nah, not for what you're getting. No. So today we're going to go ahead and try to finish this area up. And then Gary and I are going to be extra ambitious and we're going to start working on the other two tiers. The one going down from the garden and then the one going down from where we're going to put the animals. Yeah. So let's walk around over there really quick and show you what we're looking at and what we're working with. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to be getting started. But we do have plans to get some rock out here. Yes. Uh, it's going to rock some areas for us to be driving back and forth. And we're going to be putting rock going on the driveway from the main area going down this way to right about in there where the animal pen is. We're gonna have it coming along this whole side berm. And then it's gonna come here and go all the way up there to that next berm. And then we'll have another little rock kind of driveway going along that tier as well. So that way, um, as things grow and as things change, we'll be able to use the quad, use the side-by-side, -side, bring bags of feed down here, yep. maybe get some of our vegetables that we grow and haul it around where it needs to go. And it's going to be a lot easier for us uh, to have that walking, driving path. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's that's happening like within the next. I mean, he could show up in the next hour. He could he show could. up tomorrow. I really yep. don't know. But that's happening very, very soon. Yeah, we got it on the schedule for it. Yep. So it's, uh, it's just a matter of uh, today or tomorrow. Don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm not positive. So take a look at this tier, guys. This is the uh, second tier going down uh, from where the garden is going to be. And as you can see in here, we do have some water veins where the water rushes down going there, there. And I mean, you can just, you could see it. You could see where it's at. Now this was a, uh, a very big erosion spot. The water was flowing from there. 
and also in this area too. You, you could really see where the water goes when it goes. And it sure does go when it goes. But yeah, we've we've got quite a bit of erosion. We need to, to control this before it gets too wild and out of hand. Now the last tier uh, where the animals are gonna be, I'm gonna walk right over here for it. Uh, this one's got a bit of erosion going on too. Right here, this is where the main water flow goes. And it comes down the road all the way this way and then it comes that way and then shh, off into the forest. So one thing that's really nice about having this much rain so quickly is it's showing us where not to put things and um, you know we are knowing what to put where if that makes sense. So this last tier where the animals are going to go we know we're going to be putting a lot of rock coming down this road and then we're going to be doing um, the erosion control fabric all on this side as well. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do and to get to because of all the trees in the area. But it will work. Yeah, we'll make do, right? We'll make do. We got enough fabric. We'll hug this corner all the way around. And then when we get rock, it will actually be really nice. And then we'll till up this area really nice as well and get it all flat and fixed as well. For the animals. Nope. The animals. I know somebody with a tractor. Yeah. I'm just saying. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody with Come a tractor. Come on with it. So anyway, guys, that's uh, enough yammering. Uh, I'd rather just start getting this day rolling and getting the work done because there is no telling when the rock guys are going to get here. Um, and they might show up while we're in the middle of this. Again, they might show up tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, we're going to be getting a driveway and we're going to be making those driving paths. Yes. So that's that's very good. It'll be it'll be nice, and it'll make it a little bit nicer when we get uh, big vehicles out here, and, mm -hmm. and we won't have to worry too much about the rain. Yes. So it's all just gonna wash. Exactly. They'll be they'll be able to stay on a nice driveway all the way up and through and through, and we'll be good. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting started on this. Um, yeah. Let's get it. Let's do it. you guys man Abe you were such a big helper today mm -hmm. I am 
Can I have a five? Boom. <laughs> Over yeah. here. Don't leave daddy hanging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Abe was a really big helper for us today. He was helping stake in and uh, hammering all of those ground stakes. Yep. We've got all three levels ready with the ground fabric, and we have finally decided exactly what we're going to be doing with that area. Yep. Uh, we're not going to grow anything. We are going to rock it. So it's going to actually work out really good for us. Uh, we're not going to have to mow. It's not going to have to be uh, treacherous for us coming up and down those really steep stopes trying to pick stuff. Nope. No stairs are going to be needed all over the place. Uh, we do plan on putting some stair systems in, but not like how much I would need if we grew stuff on there. No, just one set per yeah. tier yep. itself and that's it. Yep. So the rock company is going to be coming out tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be getting enough rock to do the driveway, do this area, and they're going to be bringing us rock so we can do these tiers too. So really super excited about that. Uh, we were thinking they might come today. Obviously they didn't, and that's all right. <laughs> so we're hoping to see them tomorrow bright and squirrely in the morning. Oh, yes. So uh, I guess we're going to call it right now. We'll see you guys back in the morning. Oh, yeah. Bye! <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning. Man, we have a lot of commotion going on over here today. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting our septic installed right now. Actually, they're just digging the holes for it. Uh, and we're gonna be getting that installed by the end of today. We also have Ronnie and his crew back here again today. They're doing some cleanup for us um, and they're getting everything ready so that way Gary can put in the steel plates on the top and we can get closer to putting on the floor joists. Yep, yep, yep. It's, uh, we're getting a lot of work done today, that's yeah. for sure. Today's a busy, busy day. Yep. So, I'm super excited. Gary, um, you gotta run to town, right? Yep, I gotta run to town to go get some uh, plumbing parts real quick. And then head on back over here and get things rocking and rolling. Yeah. So I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to do my best to show you what I'm able to show you. And uh, we'll talk about it here in just a little bit. Oh, yeah. All righty. I know. They're doing a lot of stuff over there, huh? Yeah. That's all for our septic. Yeah, and that used to be my old cigarette hideout. Well, now it's going to be the pooping hole. Yeah. <laughs> The poop and secret hideout. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs can be there too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We've got us a big hole. So what they're working on right now, if you look on the top, you can see it's not exactly flat and level, but that's all right. It will be. What he's doing is he's just grinding it out and then we could put our stuff up on top. Well, shoot, we were wondering about when the, the rock people were going to arrive and they just got here too. So we got three folks going on. We got too many cooks in the kitchen at the moment, uh, but we're going to get it figured out. So, um, yeah. So the rock truck came and delivered us a bunch of river rock. And the river rock is going to be going right over here when it's all said and done uh, to the tier system. That's what we're actually going to be putting right along the tier banks. Um, I know it looks a little dirty and stuff right now, but it pretties up when it's wet. It's got a bunch of blue and uh, different colors in it. It kind of looks a little brown right now. They just dug it up, but it will be looking very pretty here very soon. Uh, we're going to have to take this big old pile and we're gonna be putting it along the banks. That one, 
and then that one, and then the one on the back. And it should hold it in place so that way the tier system doesn't wash away with all the rains. So lots and lots of work is going on over here today. And uh, it's super exciting. <laughs> Look at all this grass, guys. It's coming. I got to see a green coming in. It's looking so pretty. So exciting. So very exciting. When all this stuff is all said and done, uh, the rest of the build is going to be completely on Gary and I. It's a little nerve wracking, but I'm excited. I'm excited to get on with it. Get into the basement, get into the cabin. Yeah. What's going on, Ronnie? Well, we're back finishing up the top that we poured the other day. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, getting it all smoothed up. We're uh, we'll get this thing on ball rolling on putting the trusses up and stuff. Heck yes. What you thinking, Gary? So that's a nice flat, smooth surface right there. Oh, yeah. You know, we looked at the top and we came out here with the wire brush and we were like, crap, it's coming off, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of elbow grease. But I see your guy out here, he's grinding away. He's already almost done, shoot. It don't take long. You got the right stuff, it don't take long to get it done. Yeah, you Heck got all yeah. the right tools and your, your crew has the uh, skill and know-how. Make it happen. I know it looked rough to a lot of folks. Yeah. But you gotta consider in standing up on top of that little foot block with a Holes hanging down out of the sky, and if that guy bobbles real bad, you're standing out in the center of your slab. Yes. And or fell over and broke your hip or something like that. That's when we decide to go through. Yep. Yeah. And I... it's not as messy. Yeah. As far as the roughness of the brick, we knew we had that. You're yeah. gonna have that. Yeah. That's the reason we come back to do the slick up. Yep. Heck yeah. So after uh, we get this done, you're going to come back next week and get our pad going for us, right? Right. Well, I'll probably cut that wall out. Yes. And uh, uh, this will probably be it till uh, we come back and do the pad. That's probably going to be Monday. Okay. Because y'all going to be leaving. That, that way nobody's out here around your place and stuff. I, I don't like people around my place either. Yep. Yeah. By the end of the day, everything's going to be smoothed off and it's going to be waterproof in time for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice. Very, very, very exciting. So very awesome. Let's keep trust in the process, folks. It'll work. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to work. Ronnie, you're amazing. Your crew is amazing. We trust you. If we didn't trust you, you wouldn't be back. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing a hell of a job, honey. We really, really appreciate you guys and your crew. Right. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to let these guys keep doing their thing. Uh, keep enjoying the view. Ride him, Shorty.
Now that we have some of the river rock delivered, I think Gary and I are going to start doing the bucket brigade and throwing some of that rock over off on the berms. Uh, let's let's walk over there and show everybody what we're talking about. Let's do it. Got a bucket? Got a bucket. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Do this like uh, twenty thousand more times. How many buckets is it gonna take to uh, fill up the berm? A lot. The answer is a lot. Crap. Are you gonna help us too, bud? You fill up your dump truck? You wanna go grab the side by side, baby? Yeah. Drive it around this way, come around in the front of our yard, back up to this guy, and we will shovel it in there. Okay, and then what are we gonna do? Back it up to here and then just open up the tailgate? Is that what we're gonna do? Yep. All right. Well, uh, we can rake it out from there. All right, sounds like a plan. has just left <sighs> septic people, uh, rock people, and Ronnie and the crew that were over here working with all of this, uh, this block madness. Oh yeah. So everything is all done for the day. Septic is installed and the blocks are nice and clean. We are going to be ready to start this waterproofing craziness likely tomorrow. Oh, so yes. <laughs> we're really super excited for that. Uh, but let's walk around and show you what they did. Well, they ended up I ended up doing this little pit, like I said, up to here. They ended up cleaning it up all the way down and around and on the outer side as well of all the all the stuff. A lot flatter, ready for the paint. Mm-hmm. I think it's all gone. Sweep up a little bit, but it's all right. Same thing on the top, but the tops are actually smooth and ready. I'm also going to be rolling out some paint on the top of this. Just any divots here and there. And then the seal uh, that I actually have for the seal plates, it's the foam, rigid foam or whatever, so that way it can actually breathe and everything else and not create waterways. Yada yada, you know what the seal plates are. Or if you don't, you will see them real soon. But we'll lay those out after we do all that. But we gotta paint. 
We're ready for paint. Woohoo! We're ready for paint, man. Can't believe it. Here's a view from the top. The blocks are all flat now on the top. So that was like Gary's concern, my concern, our concern. Yep. But it's done. And then over here on the side too. Ba bomb, nice and clean. All cleaned up. And uh, we have rock as well. We got some rock delivered. They're gonna be out here today as well as a little later on. And get us some more rock. Yeah, because we want to have it go all the way and connect to the roundabout and come this way for the driveway. They're going to make it a little bit wider here as well. Yep. And it's going to go over to where the garage is going to be. So. Correct. So yeah. Okay. This is nice. And then we've got septic in. Septic is rolling. The septic and, is uh, in. I am filling it up as we speak right now with the hose. That's where you saw the hose over the block. Filling up the septic. So the septic people had to go in here and knock a bunch of stuff down. Uh, I mean, I don't really like it, but it is what it is. Um, right along that way where the trucks are, we're going to be um, planting some big like privacy bushes. And then we're going to seed this all right there with some grass seed. And um, I'm not sure what we're going to put there in the future, but something. It's not just going to be wasted space. But We're going to be doing backfilling and everything else, and after everything settles, We'll be able to straighten it out, flatten it out, make it all nice and whatnot. But come on over here. There you go. See that? Water's a flowing. It is a going. It is kinked on the other side because it's going down a hill, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That's how much it's flowing from the other side. Gary, uh, Gary, you done Mario brothered the heck out of that and you did an awesome job. Hey, man. It flows downhill, right? Yeah. It flows downhill. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about this. I know we were doing it like <laughs> shovel load, you know, one at a time, and then oh, tractors. Man. I wish we could afford one. I wish. But, anyways, look at that, look at that guys. I'm gonna come back with the rake and I'll, I'll make it all nice and clean. But yeah, they finished it up. That's good. Look at that, man. I should hold some uh, water back. <laughs> And if it doesn't, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, pretty much. But they did it all the way up over here, too. Um, yeah. And so we don't have to worry about Gary's garage falling. We are going to have to get another log or something down here. Yeah. Um, but we knew we were going to have to get some more logs. Yep. Yeah. We have them. Yeah. They're all over the place. I got a dead one right there. And another one dead over there that I got to chop down. We just got to chop them and place them. Oh, yeah. We'll be able to place it right there. Oh, look at that. That was such a such a less headache. He got it done in like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it would have taken us literally all day. Literally all, all, day. all day. And then we'd be all so sore and dying and yeah. So thank you again thank for, you. for taking care of that for us. Uh, we still have to get rock on the other berms over here. Yes. Um, I'll just show you guys one more time. We're still gonna have to get some rock up here, um, all along this one, all the way over there. And then that back one, you guys saw us rolling out all that black. Uh, but we also still have to put logs there too. So we're not in a huge rush for that. Um, so the main as, one. Yeah, that was the main one. As long as we can keep this back, it should mitigate these from washing away. Yeah. We have some bad spots over on the outer, outer side, which that's where the water is supposed to flow. Yeah. So. <sighs> Just one thing at a time. We got a lot of rock coming. Mm hmm And uh, it's gonna be good. Yep. I'm excited, man. It's night and day difference every single time we have people out here. And today, we have three contractors out. Yeah, the rock like guy, us. Ronnie and his crew, and the septic folk. Yep. Yep. We got a lot of stuff done today. Oh yeah. Um, we might have another rock delivery or two today. Um, this weekend, we are getting ready to go to the Shoot Dang Bang Bang oh, Fest. Yes. We're so excited. Gonna go hang out with some of our really good uh, YouTuber friends. Go hang out with our buddies, the Crockers, uh, Jared, Danielle, Jason, 
and go see what we can get into. I know it's gonna be a really fun, fun time. Um, Y'all are invited. There is a event page about it and I'm gonna post it and pin it down in the description below. So if you guys wanna go, it is in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. All the information for that event is going to be, again, down in the description below. We would love to see you guys. It's free. It's essentially just like a meet and greet and hang out with some cool people. So um, you guys are invited. We'd love to hang out with you guys. Yes. So we're getting ready to go to that this weekend. Um, and tomorrow, before we even get out of here, we're gonna try our hand at some of this waterproofing. So we got a lot on our plate before we even get out of here. Uh, but what's new, it'll right? Be fun. <laughs> it'll what, be fun. That's how we roll. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Uh, today, we're gonna start waterproofing. I am so excited. I can't wait, guys. It's <laughs> another step closer to getting into this basement. So uh, let's get into it. We've got dry lock, extreme. It's meant for basement and masonry waterproofing. So this is the best of the best that dry lock's got. And we're gonna give a going hand at it and see how good it really is i'm hoping it's great because uh i really don't want to dig up around this basement ever again <laughs> so first things first we got to open this guy we've got to mix it up and we're going to start getting it on the blocks we are going to roll this on it's going to work out really really well and we just got to really work it into all the uh bricks or blocks or whatever you are using it on and in our case, it's all the blocks and it's very porous. So I'm hoping it's gonna suck this thing in and we're gonna have one heck of a layer. So some of you guys out there might be wondering, is this all we're doing to waterproof? Is this it? And then we backfill and we're done. No, uh, we actually are gonna do the waterproofing with this layer of the dry lock. As soon as the layer of dry lock is dry and cured, then we're gonna start with the next layer, which okay. is going to be a plastic film. We're gonna be showing you that on another video. Super um, thick. Very, very film. thick plastic. So after the plastic, then goes this steel wool like batten, and then after that comes the foam insulation. So we do have several steps to get this done, completed, uh, but we're working on step one today. You'll see the other steps in another Another video coming soon so yep. you ready Gary I guess <laughs> <laughs> let's do it oh that is thick yogurt thick thicker than yogurt man this is gonna take a minute you gonna help us today buddy So it looks like we're gonna have a uh, big little helper helping us today. Are you ready, Abe? Yeah. You gonna do some waterproofing? Yeah. Say waterproofing. Waterproofing. Yeah. Hey, buddy. That one's yours. <gasps> That's yours, Abe. But we're gonna teach you how, okay? Okay. What do you do? Do you push it in here? Pull it back. This is the back.
Oh, guys, we are oh. so tired. <laughs> but we got the first uh, round of waterproofing done almost around the entire building. Yep. Whew. I can't believe it was that long to do those three walls. Yeah. But uh, it's finally... <laughs> First coat is in, and yeah. it is soaked into that block like no tomorrow. The second coat should be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, the first course, man, the first course of paint, it just took us so much time because the blocks are porous, and it just sucks up the paint like a sponge. <laughs> it's like you get a whole lot on your roller. You go one little quick line, and it's like it's gone. Yeah, you're and all, you're just constantly what? bending down, getting more, getting more. But uh, let's take a walk around. Let's show you guys it really quick. And, uh, and we're going to talk to you guys about um, some of the deliveries that we had out here while we were painting. I don't know if you guys saw it in the time lapse or not. I really don't know. Uh, <sighs> but we did have some deliveries out here. So let's show you guys the paint, and then we'll show you guys that. All right. Yes. I'm so happy about that. It's a win. It's a it win. It looks good, too. It looks really good. It's one coat. We're having to do at least two, possibly three, before we start doing the other waterproofing measures. Yep. Um, but, yeah, this is what we could do today. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with the progress that we did. Like I said, this porousness of all the blocks and just concrete, it was like, uh, please suck it all up already. <laughs> <laughs> But it's in there, man. I can't wait for the second coat. Oh yeah, it's just gonna right on. It should. It, it should. should. We'll see. If it doesn't and it sucks up more, then we're gonna have to go for a third coat. Yeah, we'll find um, out. I don't want to, but yeah. we'll see. So we did have some special deliveries today. So check this out. Ba bum. We got more rock delivered for our driveway. He went ahead and did that. Did that, and he whipped it around here and ba-bomb. So babe, what are we gonna do with all of this rock? Oh man, we're gonna have a lot of fun moving it around. <laughs> <laughs> but this rock right here is going to go on the middle terrace right here from the garden down to the animal pen, as well as all the river rock is going to go on the bottom terrace. So that way the animals don't get washed away or the hill doesn't just wash away on them. <laughs> yeah. It stays nice and secure. We still got to move some logs over, but one step at a time. I need rock. Yeah. Now we got the rock. And all this rock, I'm going to finish off going that way a little bit. And then also that is going to be like a little ATV trail going that way and down the garden way. Yeah. So we'll make it a little nicer. We'll uh, make us be able to have it a little maintained, I guess. Yeah, it should help out a lot with the mud from all the rain that we get out here. Uh, and Gar as Gary was saying, it's supposed to help us out for these terraces so things don't just wash away down the hill and off she goes. So. Because that would be sad. Yeah, that would be very <laughs> I'd sad. I'd be really, really sad. <laughs> Go to shoot Dane, come back, everything's gone. Oh. No. Uh, I guess we just got a hill, babe. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, um, we got a lot done today. We've gotten a lot done this last week. I am just so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. I can't believe it. It's no. a lot of work, but it's coming along. More sooner than later, we are gonna be inside that basement uh, and out of the trailer. So that's, that's honestly our big goal right now. Sure. Obviously the end goal is to complete the cabin, but right now we're just looking towards that, like that small win of getting out of the trailer. So mm -hmm. we're getting there day by day. It'll be fun. Oh yeah. So I want to say thank you guys for all of you guys out there watching us. Thank you to all of you amazing subscribers, friends, family, all of the above. But we gotta go. So until the next one, guys, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye you guys. Later later.